Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. And this is gonna be our week two, well, this is kind of more of a week two and a half update because not much has changed and this video is gonna be pretty short and sweet. Birds are getting a lot bigger. They're almost fully feathered out. And then we are on our second feed bag and I'm filling up feed probably about four to five times a day right now. And then water is about three, four times a day or so, or however see fit. This morning I had to fill it up completely and last night I filled it up right before bedtime and they went through the whole entire thing. It's only one bad thing happened this week and we lost another bird. Uh, I think it was due to the heat, even with fans in here. Um, it was probably mid 90s, high 90s in here and one of them didn't make it. I tried to keep up with um, as much airflow and water as possible but uh, I came out here and one of them just was laying down so um, besides that a uh, little modification that I did is I hung the waterer with some zip ties and carabiners and same with the feed feed trough yeah these guys are really flighty now too so whenever you open the top lid they try to fly out but I got the waterer and feed trough off the ground so they wouldn't make it so dirty and it's definitely helped a lot so I'm gonna show you what I was talking about last week when I said that they scratch and fight and claw when you put food in there and I'm luckily enough now to have the hanging feeder that I'm not getting my hand ripped to shreds so you're gonna see this in a second And that is how crazy they go first thing in the morning when you give them feed. They act like they have never eaten before or they have been starved. And that is not the case because they will clean that thing dry and I will fill the whole entire thing up again and repeat. That's why they grow so fast and that's why there's so much waste also. It stinks in here now. But for week two, two and a half update, that's about it. Nothing special. Um, unfortunately, we lost that one bird. But feeding's going good, water's going good, they're cruising, and then I'm going to try to possibly get them out into the chicken tractor within the next couple days. Uh, it's getting hot enough during the day where it's 80s still. If this was springtime, we'd still be lowering the temp in the brooder itself, but with it being in the garage and how hot it's been out here during the summer, it's really not necessary because they're still accustomed to the weather outside and it kind of gets cold at night here so about 60s 70s which is right where they should be for their temp if we had to lower it so we don't have to worry about that too much so that's awesome so yeah i'll definitely be putting them out soon probably going to give it till the weekend so might be like a week three and a half update but yeah that's about it and we will see you for our week three update in a couple days talk to you later